Hi everybody, I am Net Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down a mnemonic to remember the side effects of aspirin therapy. So let's get into it. So our mnemonic for this is aspirin. A is for asthma. Aspirin will not give you asthma. I want to make that clear. But if you do have asthma already, it could worsen your symptoms. So it has to be used with caution in patients who are asthmatic. S is for salicylate intolerance. So this is the class of medications that aspirin is a part of. So its job is to do things like help with pain, reduce fever, reduce inflammation. That's what it's supposed to do. Not everybody tolerates this type of medication well. So they might have an intolerance. P is for peptic ulcer development. And then I is for intestinal or gastric bleeding. These two kind of go together because they're similar. Unfortunately, um, this is one of the main reasons people are against the use of the medication aspirin is because they have that connection between these bleeds, right? So they negatively affect the mucosa, which can cause things like ulcerations and bleeds. So we have to be very careful. Some people are more at risk than others, but we have to be careful when we use this medication because we know these are potential things that could happen. Another potential but very rare thing that could happen is Ray's syndrome. This happens in children who are given aspirin, usually after they've had an infection. So what happens is they've had some sort of infection, usually a viral infection, and they're given aspirin um, to help like reduce their fever or their pain, and they can develop Ray's syndrome, which can cause things like swelling of the brain, confusion, it's kind of all over the place, okay? So something we have to be very careful about, something that we, of course, don't want children to get. So we have to be very careful about giving children aspirin in the first place. Most pediatricians I know would not recommend it. <laughs> um, I is for an idiosyncratic reaction. So just in general, all medications can have this type of reaction. It's just when something happens that we weren't expecting to happen. Right? So something we can't explain that's specific to the individual happens. So a weird adverse effect. And then finally, in is for noise issues, things like tinnitus, ringing in the ears. And that's our little mnemonic to remember the side effects of aspirin therapy.